It is a turbocharged voyage into the core of a groundbreaking economic grip, fast as we unravel the secrets of the planned $1,200 sports stimulus. Brace yourselves. Those who are looking for a financial rush for today's discovery is not just another update. Check out the ride that will get your adrenaline pumping that you didn't even know you needed. Hello everyone and thank you for tuning in to Stimulus Updates, your go-to channel for the most recent news and updates on various monetary and fiscal stimulus initiatives. Today, I am Alai, your host, and I am pleased to inform you of some exciting new developments that have occurred. However, before we get into the changes for today, make sure that you click the button to subscribe and that you set on the notification bell so that you are never left without an update on anything that has to do with stimuli. During these trying times, we are here to keep you informed and to give you the power to make decisions. Let's get right down to business, shall we? In the next few moments, we are going to go even more into the exciting world of the planned $1,200 sports stimulus check upgrade. An economic system that guarantees that everyone will receive checks on a monthly basis. In this extended edition, we will analyze the complexities of universal basic income, often known as UBI programs, investigate the possible impact of these programs, and investigate the ongoing discussions that surround the necessity and viability of such a groundbreaking financial effort. First things first, before we get into the heart of the subject, let's take a moment to rewind and go back to the beginnings of this economic tornado. In April of 2020, the Economic Impact Payment, often known as the PO Stimulus Check, appeared for the first time. This marked the beginning of the voyage. During the early stages of the COVID-19 pandemic, a one-time payment of $1,200 for the majority of adults and $500 for children served as a much-needed lifeline. In the second check of the stimulus, the CARES Act, which was passed in December 2020, included an additional $600 for adults and $300 for children. This was delivered through the Coronavirus Aid, Relief, and Economic Security Act. A third stimulus check, the American Rescue Plan Act, ARP, which will irritate us with a substantial sum of $1,400 in March of 2021, is another thing that we should not forget. When you add up all of these tests for stimuli, you realize that However, now that lawmakers have returned to the scene, they are considering the possibility of reviving universal basic income programs that cost $1,200 per month. It is similar to the sequel that we were unaware we required, and it promises to provide continual financial assistance for each and every person. There are only a few key distinctions that differentiate the systems of universal basic income guaranteed basic income, and monthly stimulus checks from one another. In essence, these programs are all like birds of the same feather. The planned checks of $1,200 per month for everyone are the game changer in this situation. They have the capacity to alleviate income inequality, act as a catalyst for economic development, and provide a lifeline to individuals who are struggling to make ends meet. Allow me to discuss eligibility. If you are an adult living in the United States and have an annual income of $75,000 or less as an individual or $150,000 or less as a married couple, then you are eligible for Social Security Disability Insurance. In the event that you are a power couple, you may be eligible for a monthly windfall of $2,400 every month, which is equivalent to $12 per person. Wait. There's more. An additional $600 for each of your dependents, up to a maximum of three persons. It is pouring with zeros. In addition, the outlook appears to be positive, yet the excitement does not begin there. Legislators are getting ready to establish trial universal basic income, 
UBI programs around the country, and it is possible that different states will have different income limits. The purpose of these programs is to conduct a series of mini-experiments, or tests, to determine whether or not it is in the best interest of these programs to send out monthly payments. Over the course of the last few years, Universal Basic Income, UBI schemes have arisen as a ray of hope. Beneficiaries all around the country are experiencing a change in their life and receive financial security as a result. A certain state or region is not the only place where these programs are available. In the United States, they are dispersed around the country, with California being home to a number of different programs. There is a distinct collection of eligibility requirements, payment frequencies, and benefit amounts that are associated with each individual program. Having said that, let us now move our attention to the wider picture. What is the overarching objective of these general assistance programs? It is not enough to simply hand out money. It is also necessary to keep track of how the recipients put the money to use, whether it is to alleviate food poverty or to get better housing solutions. It is you. Beneficiaries have improved their overall financial situations, including enrolling in healthcare programs, addressing dental bills, and addressing other dentistry-related expenses. The unexpected increase in interest and support for UBI initiatives raises the question, why? It is becoming increasingly difficult to find work and universal basic income. UBI projects are being viewed as a safety net to help individuals who are sliding through the gaps. It is anticipated that the trend of robots, artificial intelligence, and automation taking over many industries, such as fast food outlets and banking, would only continue to grow in the future. Consequently, why do we require universal basic income schemes in this uncertain era? The ever-increasing prices of products and services, in conjunction with the impending danger posed by automation, has consequently resulted in an urgent requirement for continuous financial assistance due to the fact that inflation is at its highest level in 40 years vital necessities such as food shelter and medical care are becoming increasingly expensive legislators are aware of this pressing